Hey everyone, welcome back to the library. It's Tabletop Tuesday today, and we're kicking off with our summer reading theme of Tales and Tales this week. In keeping with our theme this summer, I want to take a look at how you can put a wild spin on your Dungeons & Dragons campaign with some animal folk characters. Whether you want to develop a campaign around the use of animal folk, create your next player character, or you just want to add some interesting NPCs to an existing game, there are lots of animal-like races to choose from in the 5th edition. Let's take a quick look at some of them so you can take them into consideration. In Volo's Guide to Monsters, essentially the second monster manual for 5th edition, you'll find options to turn your common humanoid monster races into playable characters. Regarding our search, three of these races stand out. The Kinku are a raven-like race who were robbed of their wings long ago for a now forgotten crime. These feathered fellows excel as rogues, given their attraction to shiny things. I recommend this race for anyone looking for a sneaky bird folk with lots of fun characteristics to use in roleplaying, or anyone who enjoys punctuating their sentences with a series of crow calls. Kaboxi are a race of lithe cat folk who are apt to wandering and driven by curiosity. Their adventures usually involve collecting things, whether those things are interesting artifacts, stories and legends, or even just taking in the world's wonders. Tabaxi are well suited for dexterous roles and are recommended for players who like cats. Lizardfolk are large, scale-covered humanoids whose logic and understanding function differently from other races. They tend to be more aggressive in dealing with others. Their size and unusual wisdom make them great fighters and party leaders. They are quick to decide, even if they do not always decide after much thought. This race is for players looking for a tough race of reptilians that are fun to roleplay because of how different they are. Another one for the cat lovers, the Leonin, found in Mythic Odysseys of Theros, are more based on lions than smaller cats. This makes them naturally stronger and tougher than Tabaxi. These fierce warriors tend to be less trusting of non-Leonin and prefer to stay close to home, yet some do take to the life of an adventurer. Leonin are a good fit for players who enjoy playing big, brawny fighters who tend to be more reserved until a foe forces them into swift and terrible retaliation. Two races in the Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica stand out as great candidates for animal-themed campaigns. The Loxodons of Ravnica are elephant folk who often serve as clerics and druids because of their calm disposition and deep understanding of the wisdom of nature. Loxodons are good fits for anyone who wants to play a clerical role with a big personality but must also be prepared to endure elephant in the room jokes. The Minotaur of Ravnica are fearsome warriors, often belonging to the Gruul tribes. Their bovine strength and ferocity suit them as fighters or barbarians. They're smaller than the Minotaur from some planes in the multiverse, putting them at an average of around 7 feet and much more manageable as a player character. A few other races that are in the works at the time of this recording include Rabbit Folk and Owl Folk. While they're not available in any book just yet, you can find stats for them in one of the latest Unearthed Arcana articles. Remember, this is playtest material, and it is subject to change if it is included in future releases. Well, that's all the time we have for today's Tabletop Tuesday. I hope this quick overview inspires you to create an exciting world full of interesting folk for your next D&D adventure. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.